Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on sets and Venn diagram. Uh, again, an IGCSE past exam question. Uh, okay, for AS level and for high school algebra. And it says, um, uh, in a survey of the sporting habits of 20 students, 16 played hockey, as H for hockey, and 7 played badminton, B. Then he says, draw Venn diagrams to illustrate this information. What is the least possible value of the number of students who played hockey and badminton? That's a question there. And what I've done is to do this one here, and I've got uh, right a universal set with 16 playing hockey and, and, and 7 playing badminton. Now clearly, this is wrong, because if you add 16 to 7, you get 23. But there are only there are only 20 students, so clearly this is wrong. And it's, it's also saying to you that you can play hockey and you cannot play badminton. But that, again, that's wrong because you play both hockey and badminton. So this first diagram is wrong. Okay, so that's our starting point. And the next one, this one here, and again I got uh, eight for hockey and uh, and B for uh, badminton. In which we say that uh, nine students play just hockey only, and seven students play, and seven students play both hockey and badminton. Then. And if we add nine and seven, it gets sixteen. But well, we got only we got twenty students, so clearly four students play neither hockey nor badminton. Now the number of students who play hockey and badminton in this case is seven. Okay, the answer is seven. This one. Now, next diagram. Now, similar thing again for hockey. And uh, if we got 10 students who play just hockey only, but we've got 16 students in total that play hockey. So, which means that the number of students who play hockey and badminton in this case is going to be 6. And uh, we know that 7 students play uh, badminton. So now we've got 6 who play both hockey and badminton. So, the number of students who play just badminton is just 1. So if you add 10 to 6 to 1, you get uh, 17. But we've got 20 students, which means that three students do not play uh, hockey, nor do they play badminton there. Okay. Same thing again. Uh, if you have hockey, 11 students who play just hockey and nothing else. Uh, yeah, because we're looking for 16, so we don't have a 5 play hockey and badminton. But we need seven students to play badminton. So two students play just badminton only. Okay, And if you add 11 to 5, you get 16 plus 2, you get 18. So two students play, sorry, two students play neither hockey nor badminton. Next one. If we say that uh, 12 students play just hockey and not badminton, and we know that we know we've got 60 students play hockey, which means that four students must play uh, hockey and badminton. And because we need seven students to play badminton, we've, got, we've already got four, so three will play just badminton only. Right. Now, two for four is 16, and three will give us 19, but we've got 20 students, so one student plays neither hockey nor badminton. Okay. And the last one, uh, for hockey, uh, 13 students play just hockey, um, because we need 16 to play hockey, so we've got three who play both badminton and uh, hockey, so that's 16, and we need seven students to play badminton, we've already got three, so four students play just badminton only. Now, uh, 13 and 3 will give us 16, 16 and 4 will give us 20, so everybody plays uh, either hockey or badminton. So, the number of students who, the least number of students to play both hockey and badminton as required is 3. Now, I hope all that makes some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye now.